because our time is very tight. So Greg has given me an order. Uh, he asked me to do it in three minutes. So uh, I'll skip uh, some of them. Uh, the, the topic I'm going to share with you is uh, some international joint degree programs we have with uh, partner schools, uh, mainly uh, for business schools. This. Actually, uh, I'm going to mention one thing. Is the, the first partner school is the University of Detroit Mercy. So actually, it's the school Greg is currently teaching. And let's talk about some benefits. Uh, there's several of them. Uh, I think it's an uh, ideal path for globalization and diversification. Uh, we can have more choices uh, for the students and uh, more opportunities for, for recruiting. And it's a good tour in running and marketing the college. And of course, uh, from my personal point of view, uh, the revenue becomes things part of money. You know, so you can uh, use them uh, in supporting other activities and uh, initiatives. Uh, here is a quick list of uh, uh, past and ongoing programs. Uh, as you can see from uh, those parentheses, you know, some programs have been terminated, like uh, our program with uh, SDSU, because SDSU has some uh, problems. Uh, they're violating the rules of WASC, so it's being uh, terminated. And WASC is, uh, is a accreditation agency uh, uh, in, uh, in the U.S. West Association. SD is a uh, San Diego State University. It's a state school uh, in, in San Diego. Um, and we're some schools that we, we have programs but never launched, like the University of Houston. We have a program of, sorry, the University of Hawaii. We have signed the agreement, but it's difficult to recruit students. So actually, that program has never been launched. And um, SDU, uh, it will be suspended this time form. And um, 10U is Texas A&M International University, only one cohort. And the one still ongoing is the one with uh, before. It uh, has been like six, seven years. And um, uh, the one uh, we think we receive more and more attention is uh, the tri degree program jointly provided by our school, University of San Francisco, and at US in uh, Barcelona. So actually, uh, the two, two other deans are also uh, downstairs, so if you have other questions, you know, other than myself, you know, we can uh, also ask them for, for clarification. Uh, I'll spend some time on this. Uh, highlights for, for program details, uh, for each uh, program, each cohort, it will consist of about 15 to 20 students, while well, mainly with uh, full-time jobs. And uh, the tuition, of course, is varied you know, for different programs, uh, depending upon the various factors. Uh, it's actually it's in the negotiation between our school and uh, the partner school. Uh, and once we collect the tuition you know, from, from the students, we will split the tuition according to the, the, the contract. Uh, but that is only, uh, is mainly for those uh, uh, dual degree programs. Uh, for, for the tri degree programs, we're working with US 7 and is, is a different program. As each school will only collect tuitions from the students they recruit. So for example, we only collect tuitions from the students we recruit in Asia. And the USF will only collect tuition from the students recruited in, in uh, uh, America. And uh, IQS will only collect tuition from the students recruited in Europe. So it, it's a different uh, uh, format. Uh, other than the uh, try to do programs, uh, the other programs, the students will take four, course, four courses from the partner school. In the partner school. Uh, the current format is that they will make two trips to the partner school. Uh, one usually is in, in the winter of the first year, and the second trip is uh, 
towards the end of the second year program, usually in, in April. Uh, for this two trip, they will take two courses from, from uh, the partner school, uh, in the partner school's campus. And another four courses uh, were taught by professors from the partner school, but it will be in college. So it's a intensive course, like the, the first four courses we have mentioned, taken from the partner school. And finally, the last four courses taught by uh, our faculty members, the adjunct faculties to the, to the partners. And for those uh, dual degree programs, the students will basically receive two degrees from uh, those schools, but as long as they satisfy the requirements. And for the tri degree programs, uh, the students will spend about equal time in each campus, taking four courses in each campus, uh, and so uh, they will finish the, pro, uh, the degree in one. So actually it's about close to four months in each campus. And of course, all the courses will be taught in English. So after one year, and if they successfully fulfill all the requirements, they will get three degrees of the uh, partners. Uh, the final slide I have uh, is some of our future perspectives. Uh, right now we are trying to target uh, several key universities in China, providing dual degree programs uh, for both undergrad and graduate level. And lots of uh, different formats can be designed for, for different uh, markets. Uh, the reason we're doing that is that right now uh, the government in Taiwan, we are still not allowed to recruit students from China. But probably in a few months from now, they are going to open the, the door. So it will be a great opportunity to for us to recruit students from China because basically we speak the same language. And if we can find a partner school and cooperate with a school in China in offering training programs to be very attractive for Chinese students. The partner school means a the Joshua Fund, And we think it should be easier for Joshua Business Schools to jointly provide your degree or even try to do as, as we share the same mission and, and traditions. And I think it should be very promising as we can make it very unique and innovative ways. I think it's a little bit more than five minutes, but I think it, 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 that's pretty much I'm going to share. Thank you very much. <laughs>